Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to some more Turing Test. So I don't actually have any science to drop on you this time, so that's pretty great. I guess we'll just go right ahead and continue. This confirms my fears. The crew have made intentional breaches of my security. The crew have attempted to compromise my systems. Huh. What does this mean? They don't want to be found. They are hiding. Huh. From who? Us. You. Oh, neat. Kind of looks like number five, doesn't he? Okay. It's a nice blueprint. Moonwatch log sheet. Can't read it. Puzzle room. Laser totem. More moonwatch logs. So these are what? Constructors of some kind? Hold on, we'll touch them in just a second. More toms. Right? Yep, don't worry. We'll poke at all this stuff. I just want to look around quick. Um, Can't find proper driver. Boy. We've all been there, right? What's this? Hansel and Gretel, huh? That's interesting. Um, I can't read what they say. Communication op, something, something, something. Don't know. Oh, here we go. This is interesting. This looks suspiciously like a gun. Laser output, you say? Ugh, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's these things. Great. Tom is watching, sure is. And it's a screwdriver. Hey, I have one of these. Most of you should. Okay. So, what do these things do? Ah! Okay, nothing at the moment. So that's good, I guess. Oh! Oh, I thought I could carry him over, and I was super excited for a second, but you can't. That's too bad. Okay, computer time. Audio logs, really? Okay. I am concerned about Mikhail. Why is that? He seems to be developing antisocial habits. He is spending a lot of his time in private, don't you think? Perhaps you should talk to him. What do you want me to say? Just keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't do anything rash. Are you that worried? His behavior is not within normal parameters. Please make sure he is okay. Okay, so clearly sowing discord. Don't you think they might be doing the right thing? Grounding us on a foreign moon? No, Daniel, I don't think they're doing the right thing. You don't have to be so aggressive about it. They must have their reasons. <laughs> yeah, plausible deniability. Hmm, I think I agree with you. Daniel, could I have a word? I'm busy. It is important. <sighs> okay. Are you aware that Christopher and Mikhail are involved in self-harm? Sorry, what? For how long? They have both macerated their right arms. Mikhail has completely removed his forearm. His whole forearm? Yes. Where are they? I had attempted to stop the situation escalating myself, but I seem to have failed. I came to you because, as our loyal captain, I can trust you to help them. Where are they? I don't know. They've disappeared. Deeply suspicious. Sarah? I need advice. Okay. What would you do if someone threatened your friends? Your hypothetical friends, I assume. Yes, my hypothetical friends. You should protect those you love. I need you to remember that, Sarah. Well, that's weird. Okay. Not actually sure how to process that. Very strange. There's our power box, yep. Okay, looks like we can operate this one as well. Oh. 
Yes, that's how they go together. Oh, neat, I can kind of like rotate them. Well, that's cool. It's too bad I can't make one. At least not as far as I'm aware. These only do one motion each, so probably not so much. Okay. There's a notebook over here that does nothing. Nice tough book, though. Okay, and there's nothing else in here I can interact with. Just don't want to miss any computers or anything. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Alright, well this is very peculiar. I hope that we're going to address this whole thing where he's like, manipulating everybody. Even that whole like, help your friends who are in danger thing was clearly to plant some idea, like, to try to prompt a specific reaction. So, okay. I think this is our progress meter. The crew intentionally cut communication with the satellite. I've found the source of the problem. They have sabotaged the communication array. Can we fix it? Not from here. We should carry on. Okay, so what do I have here? I have two power supplies. That I do not see an obvious way to manipulate. It can't be used in here. Hmm, okay. Let's take a look. So we've got a bridge that, I don't know what, the door is being activated by a not gate. Okay. Let's see what the story is up here. We'll need a ramp or something. Oh, or a magnet. Okay, so this will flip, what, off the, this will turn the bridge. Jeez, that's enough lens flare, don't you think? Oh, it's because I'm standing in the giant magnet. So that's not going to have any effect on the bridge, is it? Well, let's find out. This is interesting. So where can this go? Oh, really? Okay, well, if this is as far over as it goes, will I be able to grab one when it's attached to the magnet? Let's find out. Or the magnet-like item, rather. This could be interesting. So... I need power to even, like, get this thing... I guess I didn't check to see if I could pull the power cell out of this. Nope. Oh! Right. Right. I know things. Okay, so this turns our bridge on, but turns the door closed. Okay. So then what do we want next? How do we interrupt this once we get across? I don't have an intermittent power supply. Seems like the thing to do would be to block this somehow. How do we do that? Because so we can drop a power block off here, and that's fine. Let me just bring that up and see if that inspires me somehow. Because I do not see what to do with these. Window, right. Okay, up you go.
So how to interrupt this? Hmm. This one has me confused. Right. But what do I do to block that? Let's see, because I could use the magnet to pull one of these upwards th through that beam, but then I'll still be on the wrong side. So instead, huh, and there's no way to break this power. Oh, I thought of it. Okay. Gotcha. Clever. Very clever. Turn this on. Check this out. Where'd I put that other one? There it is. I like this. Set this on the ground right there. And then... Go grab our friend the magnet. Trying to, like, dramatically stretch this out, and it's not working. Ta-da! Oh, I missed. Well, let's see if I can gently scooch that back over. Right about there. Perfect! That's a good one. I like that quite a bit. They really are trying to lock me out of every system. This is ridiculous. What have you done to upset them, Tom? Why have they cut off communication? Perhaps they have a problem with authority. Hmm. Perhaps they have a problem with the lying machine that's been dicking around on their heads without telling them. So what do these do? So this brings that down. Why are these here? Okay. Bridge, yes. Oh, that's cool. Ah, so green and purple are out of sync. Well, I don't need to do anything here, do I? Just ride them up, more or less. Oh no, not quite. I have to get them a little closer. So. When do I want this to trigger? Let's back up a little bit so I can see what's going on. Let's try about here. Well, that didn't do what I expected it to. And still not doing what I expected it to. Okay. That only works for one cycle. That's interesting. What if I... Ah, awesome. Swap these around. Yep. Neat. Okay, so purple and green. Oops. Out of phase. Perfect. Okay, that's neat. So what's our story here then? Looks like we need one. Which one do we want? Oh, hi, power box. I didn't even see you. What do you do? All you do is bring that one up. That is actually not very useful. How about that one? That might actually be useful. Okay, so if I can get up on top of this, then I can just walk all the way up. So which one do I want this in sync with? Actually, it doesn't matter, just any one of them. Can I get any of these? Should be able to. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, okay. 
Well, that's fine. Okay, then what's our story? So, we are going to want to pop one of these out to put in here so that we can get up on top. And then... So this can't be there, because that's not going to work. So I can get up onto the second one. Or did I just stop this at the wrong point? Can I stop this at different points? No, just at the bottom. Alright, this is fine. Come on. Oh, that's right. I need to lock one of these in place. That's gonna be hard. If I am up here, can I shoot these things from the top? I cannot. Oh, I can get this one from the top. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So we are gonna go ahead and grab this purple one. I'm not totally sure where I need to use the power block yet, so we're gonna just kinda explore this real quick, because I don't quite have the phasing right in my head. So which one, because I can only use one of these at the top. Um, hmm. See, if I leave that up, it's too high. Oh, this one's locked up too. So that is also not what we want, is it? I don't know, what's it look like? Yeah, we do, that's fine. Okay. So what if we do this? So this would get us up here. Then we can borrow that. And this will get us up here. And we can pop that in, although we don't need to. It's right here now. What do we do with this guy? Oh, okay. I, I get you. I see what's going on here. Right. I'm smart. I got this. Oops. Come back. And up here. And up here. And... There we go. All right. They are trying to sabotage this mission. I need you to help me, Ava. The ground team have cut me off from most of the facility. I thought you were in control. I thought I was too. The ground team have attempted to systematically remove me from most of the facility. I am fighting back. I bet you are. My question is, what is the mission, huh? Shades of hell here, that's for sure. Okay, so I just gotta block this. No problem. Stack you right here. I've decided not to rant anymore about that room that I couldn't get into. I don't know what the deal is, but I've decided that those are going to be like bonus rooms. I thought that the way that, that uh, Tom said things the first time, that I just would need to come back. But it's pretty clear he was also lying to me. Surprise, surprise. What's going on here, Tom? Sorry? The ground team, they're hiding from us. They're afraid of you. As the instrument of the ISA, I am the authority aboard this station. The crew have violated that authority. They are trying to remove me from my own home. Yes, and why would that be? Oh, evil robot. Okay, so I've got a magnet, I've got a box. What's going on up here? Okay, and always on supply. That brings those up, okay. And then what's in here? A place for another power box that will turn that on. Okay. So I need to get a solid power one inside there. 
So what to do here? Okay. Right. Okay. So this, I'm assuming, moves left to right. Let's test that theory super quick here. Or front to back, rather, not left to right. Let's see if I'm correct on that. Yep. Okay, so we've got our power box up here. How to do this, though? Because I only have the one available to me. So, let's pop this guy in and let's kind of see what's going on. Okay, because that opens this, so this needs to have the intermittent one in it. Okay, but if I do that, now what? What does that get me? But I need this one to get out now. And this would have to go here. Right? That is honestly not doing what I expected it to. Why is it not doing this? Oh, it requires both. Does it? Wait, am I an idiot? What does this do? What? Okay, but that doesn't help me. Because I need the power block out here. Or more correctly, I need the intermittent power supply out here. So how to do that? Aha! I getcha. Check this out. Supply, 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 right? And I need to get this box out. I guess with this. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll put this right here. And we'll go move the magnet on top. Clever. Nice. So that magnet I could actually move in all directions. Did it not have a track in the ceiling? Okay, so this grid suggests that I can move it any way I feel like. Okay, that's important. Just some pretty good traps, by the way, for uh, crazy people that are full of alien DNA. Although, obviously, they're not any more crazy than they were when they didn't have chips in their head. Ooh, bright. I am breaking through their security, trying to get back control. Go, team. Come on. Don't let them do it. Alright, so what's our plan here? So, foot switch, which does... Which does what? Does it turn that bridge on? Let's go find out what this switch does. First. Get all the rest of our information for us. Oh, okay, so that switch is going to turn on something that currently does not have power. Oops, come back. So what is that going to do? Opens up a bunch of doors. Ooh, two more power supplies. Okay. Let's grab these in this order. And let's see what this gets us up here. So it gets this door open. Okay. Okay, actually, let's switch this really quick. You go back here. Oops. Plug this back in. So I think I need these in the other order. I need blue and then green. Because we're going to make this intermittent. With this underneath it. Okay. And then we just need to turn the bridge on. And there should be one up on top. Okay. Through we go. Through the choppy doors. Okay, and now I need to flip it back on to always on. Is there a way to do that from up here? 
Not that I immediately see, actually. So that's, what, the opposite of what I want, isn't it? Uh, I can't quite see it. Nope. Okay. Oh. So, what I actually want is something slightly different here. I want this on intermittent. Right? Maybe? But that only gives me... It doesn't leave the bridge on long enough, though, for me to get across. See, from over... Hmm... Must be a power supply I'm missing, because I only have two balls in the box. And I need all three of them to operate this. So... Oh wait, what if I pop this out? There we go. Gotcha. Now we need something. Something from over here. Okay. So I can get this power ball or not? Yes. But what does that help me? Does that get both doors? Oh yeah. We got this. No problem. Okay, so far so good. Sector D36. Eber, I do not want to force your hand. But what do you remember of the ground team? They're good people. Sarah? The hardest working woman I've ever met. Right. Do you see them as the rebellious type? Uh, they didn't strike me as rebellious. If they've taken down parts of your system, they must have their reasons. Hmm. S ah! Cute. Sun emergency block system. Sun block. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so. So far, I've screwed up all these. So this time, we're not gonna screw it up. Oh my god, there's a person! Oh, okay. Okay. Dude, I'm totally not a robot. Can't you see from over here that I'm not a robot? Took off through that door in a hurry. This door which has no power supply leading to it. Okay. Okay. So, what do we have here for operators? Just... A switch and a power supply over there. Okay, so what does this give us? Okay, so that opens that, right? And what is the point of that? That opens up that door. Okay. That doesn't help me because I can't get to that door. Or, well, yes I can. Alright. Okay, so that turns that off, and this turns nothing off, because I can't turn it off. Okay, so which one do I need to grab? I thought there was two available to me. Let's come out here a second. No, just the one. Okay... Hmm... How to do this? 
Interesting. So that closes these doors. So I need that box down there. Why? Let's flip that back on and check out this side. See if something moved that I'm not aware of. Okay. Leave you on the super conducting, super colliding, super button. And now I can't get through to this side. Okay. Not exactly covering myself in human glory. So what's up here? So this would be a place to drop down if I could get the... Oh, I can get the power box. But this does not leave me the next door open. Right, I need that turned on to get that. So I need a way... To what, drop the box on there? So I have to approach from this side. But the box toggles that, you know, bi-directionally. Because I don't need this one on the ramp. Or do I? No, I don't think I do. It's just that I can't get back up there. Huh. Well, what did I do with that power box? Where are you? Come back here. So, if I take both of these up here... That doesn't actually really help me. Because I can't, like, power this up or anything. So that pressure plate seems to be the only way to turn this on. How do I get that over there? When then there's no way to get back. And there's no other way to power it, is there? No. I feel like the power box is a red herring of some kind. Unless I can move much faster than I think I can. There is a time delay. I don't think I can do this. I'm going to try a few more times, don't mind me. Alright, so that doesn't work. Well, hmm. Well, these are the restricted area ones. Perhaps I should just continue on my way. Maybe these are some kind of challenge thing. No, I'm going to keep working on this. Can I throw these? Oh, actually I can. And that doesn't really help me. Because this is glass over here. Oh no, I can totally do this. Oh! Let's try that again. Oh, jeez. Apparently I can't take fall damage. That's good. This is totally going to work. Totally going to work. It's totally not going to work, but maybe it'll work. No! Yup, check that out. Okay, so I just got to do a better job not falling off. So I need to run up and then just run at full speed, I think, and then hit E is just, just the right time. Yes! I am the smartest man alive. Yes! Daniel, are you alright? 
I'm perfectly well. I'm going to live forever, don't you know? If you will allow me, I would like to congratulate you on your good work. What are you talking about? Securing the organism, keeping Earth safe. We're not made to live forever, Tom. Especially not here. Why do you say that? We find the cure for death, and now we're immortal. Immortal and alone. I can't live here forever, on some freezing backwater moon, feeding off vegetables grown in my own feces, starving, endlessly young, a wasted life, live forever. Daniel, I am sorry that you cannot go home. The ISA are wondering what to do with Ava. What do you mean? She is still on the Fortuna. Do we send her home? Or do we send her a sample of the organism? I could pilot a sample to the Fortuna. You would have to travel back to Europa, Daniel. You couldn't board the Fortuna. The risk of back contamination is too large. Ava would have to bring the sample back to Earth. Could you allow a ship out? I am not able to do that. Executive override. Daniel Joseph McLean. Okay. But only for you, Daniel. The rest of the crew cannot know about this. Say I've gone missing. I am afraid I can't lie. It's not a lie. Wow. Wow. Ah, crap. Now I wonder what I've missed not being able to get into these other rooms. Audio logs, too. You called. How's progress? Very good. We've exposed several organisms to Organism 119. We found out what it does. It has had miraculous results. Go on. We've infected fruit flies and some plants, and they've not aged at all. The organism seems to be repairing them and stop biological aging processes. We don't know how yet. It must be repairing the DNA or has some rejuvenation power. Are you sure? I'm sure. These plants should have died two weeks ago. Huh. I don't know how they react to this. Okay. Michelle, can you keep a secret? Of course. Turn off your radio. I think I'm pregnant. How? Oh. Chris? You won't be able to have a child here. Keep your voice down. Sarah? You won't go the full term here. Don't you think I know that? The microgravity, the environment, there's not enough food or water. How will you survive? I need to get rid of it. I don't want to get rid of it! We could shut down the communication, alright? Just for a couple of hours. Uh huh. That's a hand. And there's the feet. It's not gonna make it, Sarah. I'm sorry. Gravity is too low. It's not gonna develop properly. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't take it anymore. No one has to find out. <laughs> you did this. You don't mean that. Get off! Whoa. I'm sorry. Whoa. Okay. Well, that was a hell of a thing. Huh, a little hand crick. This is awesome. Pretty good music on Europa. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, we'll beat our heads against the wall a little more. So, thanks for watching, folks. And I will see you next time.